Good morning, everybody. It is August 20th and the start of our fourth vlog on the channel. Today, I don't think we have too many special projects to do, mostly our regular chores. Excuse the honking ducks in the background. They're going to do that all day long. We're going to let them out in a couple minutes. We're going to let the goats out and have another surprise for you guys today. So let's go take a look at that. They're all waiting by the door, all ready to be let out. They do, they're sick of being in there. Uh, they, they squeeze, they squeeze through the little hole. The ducks are still scared of us. They don't want to come out while we're standing here. Back up, Hayden. They're not scared of you, I guess. Yeah, go get them. All right, now it's the goat's turn to come out. Hi, Elvis. Hi, he always waits right at the Mido. gate for us, too. Hi, Mido. Hi. <laughs> Goose is up there on top of the shelter, of course. We have winter right there. And one more. Okay, so here's our little routine over for this pen. First, we let the goats out to mow the lawn a little bit. I'm still going to have to come out and mow later today, probably, anyway. And then we clean up the old food. I've just done that. Just like that. And we feed them. And clean up, uh, well, the piles of poop that are everywhere and... You know, any other mess that the animals make. That way they have a clean enclosure while they're in here. Eventually we'll add in a chicken or two once they have a permanent pen. That way it'll help take care of some of the leftover food and everything like that and the flies. So that it's just a little less messy in here as well. But for now we do it and we have a fine time. Winnie is already trying to get into her new food. She knows it's in there. We do a little bit of meal prep by chopping up the veggies and putting them into baggies. So that way it's easy for us to uh, bring them food every day. Look at her, she's trying to get in. Go get some more corn and some pellets, please. Big scoops. I got your door. Hey, come here, curly boy. No? <laughs> He's gone in to eat the pig's food. This, this is the problem with having them together. He's got perfectly good food right here. But no, he wants, he wants what the pigs are into. Since we've been letting the goats out every day, they're getting a bit more brave about the yard and venturing further and further out. Look how far away Goose is from Elvis right now. You see that? So they're getting more comfortable here, which can be a problem because right over here is the garden. And they've already been into it once. I try to defend it as much as I can. But I'm not always around. But things are growing and they're going well. Look at those cucumbers. Look at them sprouts right there. Fantastic. Peas. Kale. No pepper. 
It's looking good. In spite of all of these goats. Goose, why are you yelling? Tell me why. You good now? Yeah, you see Elvis? Everything's good? Oh, she turned around, she can't see him anymore. Okay, so I have one project to do today, a uh, one-time project, which is going to be making a compost pile. Now, there's a lot of weird science to composting that I don't really understand, as far as the chemicals and everything inside that are formed when uh, organic material breaks down. I don't know any of that. I do know that composting is a good way to take care of the waste that we produce and to uh, create soil to help our plants grow. So that is the focus of it, that's what we're going to try to work on. We've got some pallets that should allow me to make a decent area for the compost pile to go into. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and make right now. Alright, so here's the little compost area that I made, just out of three pallets and some supports to keep it together. We went ahead and put it right next to the temporary enclosure. That way it's a short walk to dump into it. That's a little bit easier for us. And there won't always be animals right next to it, it's just going to be uh, them for now, so we can just kind of dump directly into it. It's about three feet by three feet. I hope, that's what I had looked up, and that's what it says. Looks about right to me, I'm just eyeballing it. But I put it together with pallets, it looks pretty good. They do a okay job of eating grass, they like to eat grass, but we don't really have them out long enough yet to actually mow our lawn, so it's still my job. And I'm going to go ahead and get onto that now. It's really hot outside, so I'm going to be sweating, but it needs to be done. Let's go ahead.